I'm Daria Zikaus, and today I will tell you about our paper entitled Macrophage Mitochondrial Bioenergetics and Tissue Invasion are Boosted by an Atosa Porthos Axis in Drosophila. This was a very collaborative study. The work was spearheaded by Shamsi M. Tanani, a grad student in my lab, but key contributions were provided by Elliot Martin from Dr. Rangun's lab at Sony Albany in the USA, Dr. Thomas Hurd at the University of Toronto in Canada, Jakob Wendland Genger from Dr. Bergtaler's lab from SAM in Vienna, and Dr. Köcher at the Vienna Biocenter. To help organisms survive, cells must change their functions to address new challenges. This occurs particularly in the immune system, which must constantly adapt to fight new threats. Immune cells continually differentiate, proliferate, or increase antibody production, and such changes have been shown to require increases in mitochondrial energy production. But what are the molecular pathways that govern these increases in energy? That has not been well understood. And also, how such changes in energy could impact immune cell migration has not been clear. We have now found answers to these questions using the fantastic simple model of macrophages moving in the Drosophila embryo. Through a screen, we have identified a gene that's expressed in macrophages, which allows the first one to invade into, into tissues, making a path for itself and the macrophages behind it. This gene encodes a nuclear protein, which we have named Atosa. Using RNA-seq, we found that Atosa raises mRNA levels of three other components, a dead box protein porthos, and two metabolic enzymes lysine alpha-ketoglutarate reductase, and NADPH glycoxylate reductase. Through polysome profiling and Western blot analysis, we've shown that Porthos increases ribosome assembly and the translational efficiency of around 200 mRNAs, including many components of mitochondria, such as proteins in the oxidative phosphorylation complexes 1 through 5, proteins that help form the mitochondrial folds, which are called Fristae, where oxidative phosphorylation occurs, and proteins that help import other proteins into mitochondria. The two metabolic enzymes downstream of Atosa also affect mitochondrial bioenergetics, and based on their known pathways, we hypothesize that they feed fuel into the mitochondria that can enter the TCA cycle. And we found by metabolomics that this Atosa program raises levels of ATP, arguing that we've identified a new, unique genetic program that allows cells to increase their energy levels through shifts in mitochondrial function. We have named the gene based on our first author's Iranian heritage. In this sketch, you can see Atosa, who was a real historical Persian queen, sitting in the nucleus. She is commanding the two metabolic enzymes and Porthos. Acting on the queen's orders, these three lead to more ATP production, the energy currency of the cell, through mitochondrial function. The currency, shown as gold coins, energizes the running helpers to have the power to move the queen and the macrophage she sits in through the barriers ahead. Atosa has two vertebrate orthologs we name Atos A and B, which are enriched in immune cells and which can take over for Atosa's function in Drosophila macrophages. We are excited to discover what processes Atos A and B regulate in mammals.